In this video, you're going to see how to create a MDI application using the MIDI manager and NetAdvantage for Windows Forms, as well as get an idea of how the Explorer bar works. You're going to see how easy it is to create this rich style Outlook type user interface, um, which sort of looks like Visual Studio as well, without really writing any code. So let's go ahead and fire up Visual Studio. I have a project I created already called MIDI in a snap, because you're going to create this um, literally in a snap. What I have here is a main form and then two child forms. The only difference between the main form and the child forms, you can see that the main form um, has the is MIDI container property set to true. So this is a, a MIDI application. I don't have any code written. Um, there's really nothing going on here yet. So what I want to do is go to my toolbox and I'm going to drag an explorer bar onto the form. So let's scroll down and we'll grab the ultra explorer bar control. And the Ultra Explorer Bar Control is a great control for navigation. Um, it allows a shell style explorer, an Outlook style navigation pane, Visual Studio 2005 toolbox. The sky's the limit on how you want to make this control look. I'm going to go ahead and add some groups to this control. And in these groups, I'm going to add a couple items. And you can see what we're getting here, a nice explorer style user interface. Now I can also right click, go to the Ultra Explorer Bar Designer, and within here, I can add items, I can add new groups very easily. Now, on the click event, what I want to check is the key property um, to actually see which item was clicked. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a key of child one, and I'm just going to give it a, a phony name here for text like customers. And this key we can set as child two, and its text will be um, reports. So there we go. I'll click close and now you can see what we have over here. You also notice um, if your application doesn't have this type of UI requirement, I can go ahead and change the style of this window from explore bar uh, to a list bar. I can change it to a toolbox, an Outlook navigation, or even a Visual Studio 2005 toolbox. You'll notice that I'm running Windows Vista so it follows the theme and the coloring that Vista is supporting for these controls. Now the next thing I want to do is dock this to the left hand side of my form. So I'm going to go back to my toolbox and I'm going to grab the Dock Manager control. Dock Manager is a non-visual component and what it does is it adds to the context menu of every control a Dock Controls item. So if I select Dock Controls I have the ability to select the control I want to dock and then where I want to dock it. So I can do bottom, left, right, top, floating, and then once I do dock it, say left for example, I can start drilling into properties um, such as, you know, allow dock right, allow dock left, allow float, uh, etc. So here for this window in particular, I'm going to go ahead and resize it a bit with the control. I want to go ahead and change um, the text from Ultra Explorer Bar 1 uh, to something like Main Menu. So you'll notice here we have, uh, let me go to the dock control itself, that was the Explorer Bar. In here we have dock areas. So if I drill into the dock areas, there's a collection of panes. And then within the collection of panes, you have additional panes collections, which have a dockable control pane. Now the control, this is what we did through the right click. You can set the control here. And I can go ahead and set additional properties. So is MIDI child, key, minimize, maximize, etc. Is it pinned or unpinned? So you'll notice here through property settings, I can set the behavior of the control. And finally, I'll just change the text to say something like main menu. Now you'll notice that the text has been changed to main menu. Now, in the explore bar control, I changed the way it actually looked um, to the Outlook navigation style. I can change the window style of the dock manager to any one of, you know, Visual C, Office 2003, etc. I'm going to go ahead and change this to Office 2007. So I have a nice blue uh, user interface. And I'll move my property windows over to the right a little bit. So now here I have a dockable explore bar uh, on my MIDI parent. So if I go ahead and run this application, you're going to see here I can pin um, and unpin. I can pin it again. I can move it around. Let's dock it over to the right. So you have basically a nice docked user interface. Now one of the requirements I had was um, users have a hard time seeing where they're docking. So you'll notice there's sort of an outline of the control, but it's not exactly desirable. So I'm going to go ahead back to the dock manager properties, and I'm going to change its drag window style from a simple outline to a layered window with indicators. 
Now what you're going to get at runtime is this Visual Studio 2005 style docking indicators. So it's very easy to see exactly where the control is going to get docked. So that's a very nice feature that's basically a simple property setting. So, so far I haven't read any code, but I have a true dock uh, container, a docking pattern going on, and a menu on the left. So now to fire up my MIDI children, all I need to do is respond to the events of the click on the items that I added to these groups. So let's go ahead and double click here and we have the item click event for the explorer bar. So I have some code that I wrote here which will simply show the children. Um, what I'm actually doing in this case is I'm doing a select case on the item key and you'll remember that I set a key to child one and a child two and all I'm doing here is showing the MIDI children based on the click event so very simple code um, that's just checking the key you could check the tag property you could check the index it's up to you how you want to respond to these events so now if I hit F5 you'll notice our window pops up I'll click customers there's child one and there's reports child two so now we have a very simple MIDI style application with docking and an explorer navigation on the left but the requirement was I needed a Visual Studio style dock tab MIDI so I'm gonna close this out I'm gonna go back to my toolbox and let's go to the design mode and we will grab the tab MIDI manager so we'll scroll down here we'll grab the non-visual ultra tab MIDI manager on a form and that's pretty much all I'm gonna do let's go ahead and hit F5 now any MIDI tab or MIDI child that's going to open up it's just going to show it in a tab across the top so you can see here we have nice tabs across the top these tabs can be split horizontally they can be split vertically they can be docked um, there's numerous things you can do you can also change the style so previously um, on our dock manager we set its style to look like office 2003 I'm gonna go ahead and change the view style here to office 2003 and if we hit F5 again you're going to notice when I open up my MIDI children, it's just a slightly different hover style uh, based on the Office 2003 colors. And you can even change the style of the tabs to look like Excel. They can show up at the top, bottom, right, left, etc. So with a couple lines of code and a few visual and non-visual controls, you just created a very rich MIDI style application in a snap. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.